hey guys welcome back to my channel today i have another video of a work with me and today i am working on my sister-in-law she is the most person i practice on alongside with my mother-in-law which is super exciting because i have a lot of fun with her and she loves to get her nails done too so today she wants to get uh, long almond nails and then she also picked a green color with a, a kind of like a leafy vine design so i hope you guys like this Just starting off with prepping as usual going in with a sanding bit that is made for the natural nail I'm just going in with a cuticle bit I love this bit out of all of them but it's to ensure that I get off any of the dead cuticle that's left on her plate and this helps with the product to stick and as well if they have any kind of dead skin on the side walls I tend to like to use it on the side wall as well Afterwards, I like getting any kind of cuticle that is screaming out at me. I'm still trying to get comfortable with it, but it's still going to take some time. Now I'm just going in and I'm gluing on her nail tips and I'm going to be getting them to the length that she wants and shaping them as well. Okay, so one of the fingernails I did glue on crooked, but that was because me and my sister-in-law, we were laughing so hard that I bashed my head into the wall. So if that doesn't tell you that in the middle of laughing, I glued her nail on crooked, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> but uh, she was okay with it because she knew she was making me laugh way too much. And so one of the fingernails I did glue <laughs> cricket on so i i don't know if you guys will be able to see it but if you do then you know that's why oh my lord you're about to see it here in just a second but you can see the crookedness from this angle. <laughs> oh, hang on. Let's wait for it. Yeah, there it is. Can you tell which finger it is? <laughs> oh, my goodness. But here I am just getting her length that she wants. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. It makes me laugh so hard. But I am just getting her length that she wants. And then after that, I'm going to go in and cut each side so that I can get that almond shape that she wants. Sorry about the camera angle, you guys. I'm sorry. Sometimes I just don't get it right <laughs> and it gets out of frame. Um, and that's mostly because I like to have their fingers like super close to my face because I'm blind. Um, so I try my very best to get it into frame. After shaping, I'm going in back with that natural bit and I'm flushing that nail to the natural nail to make sure that it stays well and as well the application goes on smoothly. Yep, 
You guys, I don't know what it is, but I am terrified of using acrylics. Maybe it's because I like to take my time, but I'm going to try to get into acrylics. So we'll see how that goes. Right now, I am just dehydrating and priming the nail for application. After priming, I am going in with the base coat. And then after that is on to application. Something to know is you don't have to put the base coat on the nail tips. Um, you can just put it on the natural nail and you should be good to go. Next, taking a big old glob a poly gel <laughs> i don't know what is wrong with me guys <laughs> um i'm just taking clear poly gel and i am applying it in multiple layers to get the thickness that i want something that i've noticed um when i look back at all of the videos of me doing people's nails i need to make the nails thicker and i recently learned i did my own nails just a couple days ago I need to apply a thicker coat. So that just takes time and practice and really just humbling yourself and looking back at all of your progress. And the biggest competition is yourself. And so in order to progress and get better at things, I feel like you have to look at everything you have done and be almost your biggest critic. So that's something I've learned is I just, need to get better at making the apex thicker and stronger for the nails to last longer. So like I said before, I'm just going in layers and I'm making sure the nail is thick where the apex is. That way we have a more stable nail. It's not as thick as I'd like looking back but it is a great start. So next I'm on to debulking and getting a consistent layer of that poly gel. I don't want any grooves, I don't want any bumps, I want to make sure it's all on the same level. And with this bit you have to be careful and make sure that you have your anchor going. But I always like to go right to left, I don't like going back and forth because I need to build that muscle still. Again, I am being my biggest critic and I am realizing things I need to do. Also as well, I like to uh, seal in the cuticle as well to make sure that it is as well flushed. So a method that I like to do is once I'm done debulking, I like to clean off the nail. And this is just to see where I'm at on the shape. Uh, it's kind of hard to see with clear and with all that dust. So once I'm done cleaning up the nail, I go in with my actual hand file and I will make it more sharp and more of the shape that she wants. So that's what I'm doing here. This was so fun to learn, but she actually gave me a tip. She, uh, my sister-in-law mentioned that maybe instead of using the hand file for this, I should just instead use my nail bit for it. And <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think of it sooner, but like my mind was blown. So, um, I, I don't know if I included it here. I'm pretty sure I didn't, but... Um, I did go in with my hand file and I did go in and shaped it super quickly. It cut my time in half. Uh, so after this, I go in with my buffing block. You always want to buff 
the nail so it's nice and smooth for application and as well don't forget those edges on this end of the nails i've noticed when you don't buff those it gets snagged on so many clothing it's not even funny all right you guys here's her color i'm so excited so this color was actually picked by her husband she normally wouldn't go for these kind of colors but i think it suited her skin tone so well it just looks so gorgeous um also on top of that with the nail art i did struggle on the nail art but it all came together but just look at this green color especially after the second coat i haven't done this color yet and you guys i low-key it's the perfect olive green color Okay, so along with this color, we are going matte. Uh, you know what's crazy? I used to not like matte, but I've learned to love matte now. Uh, so we are just doing matte for her nails, and then we are on to nail art. I kid you not, I think this was like the very first time I did my own nail art, and I was sweating. I was so nervous. I felt like I was constantly 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 wiping it all away and restarting but it all came out together so well and again like i said i'm always going to be my harshest critic out of everybody else my husband she was telling me it looked cute and even at the end i was still like so concerned that she wasn't going to like it and there was just moments where you could see me pause and get so frustrated with myself but enjoy the rest of this nail art Finally, I am going in with again matte top coat just to seal it in. I hope you guys enjoyed. Here is a picture of the finished product. They came out so beautiful, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.